सो इट्स माई रिक्वेस्ट टू ऑल ऑफ यू टू बी प्रिपेयर वेरी वेल फॉर द पर्सनल इंटरव्यू देर आर क्वेश्चन विच विल बी वेरी मिंडेन वेरी प्रिपेरेबल सो बी प्रिपेयर फॉर द इंटरव्यू इंटरव्यू बिकॉज द इंटरव्यूइंग ऑफिसर्स आर मच मोर फैमिलियर विद द सिचुएशन लाइक दिस Good morning gentlemen I am Mr Shinde Varad Sampath Rao I have recently cleared the SSB Bangalore that is the 12 SSB for the Indian Navy entrance test that was conducted for the fighter pilot that is pilot other than MR entry on the date of 15th of November so I am going to share the experience of my SSB personal interview as the parts of the GTO PPDT and the psychology are really vast to explain for the first video of the techno women we are going to just uh, explain the personal interview procedure what were the questions and the answers that i gave to the interviewing officer so the first question when i went inside i just uh, uh, wished the interviewing officer very good morning there were two interviewing officer first was the trainee interviewing officer who was actually going to take place take my interview and the second one was the experienced uh, the training interviewing officer he was actually the vice president that i later came to know in my conference Uh, so i first entered then i accidentally forgot to shut the door up so he asked me to shut the door and then after that uh, i wished him uh, sat down after his permission uh, then uh, the first question that he asked me that ever tell me uh, about uh, something about the pune city so i was really prepared for that question and then i delivered for about 2 to 3 minutes continuously spoke about the city of pune so the next question was the rapid fire round there was only one rapid fire round for me Uh, in which uh, the interviewing officer summed up all the education of me and the family and the friends relatives and the relation i do share with them so i answered them very carefully and neatly without uh, getting into details of the problems that i have with my uh, family members and my friends also uh, so i focused mainly mainly on the positive points uh, so i came up with the qualities that i do have then the not so good qualities i told him that uh, that uh, my handwriting is not so good and the second thing was i am a really impatient person so that was really good for me to not show up my uh, very bad qualities so it's my uh, uh, request to all of you when you appear for the personal interview don't share up the bad qualities instead uh, you can come up with something which is not so serious that is too mundane uh, kind of uh, quality we can say then the next question was what are your qualities so i came up with the uh, that i am a good learner sir then i am a good uh, sports person also then uh, i am a mature person also a responsible person also then the counter question was how are you saying that you are a responsible person then i uh, then i shared with him the the responsibilities that i have taken from my school school age also in my family also and in the age of my college also so he was really impressed and uh, told to me that uh, yeah varad you are really good in your responsibilities tell me something more about your uh, the relations uh, that you share with your parents so i told him that Uh, my mother is uh, really close to me uh, since my father is always uh, doing something and he is out of the uh, house uh, i do share uh, something that have happened to me with my mother but uh, when my father come to me i do share with him also so i came to the neutral ground for my parents that is mother and my father is uh, bothly uh, they are equally preferred in my uh, relation so after that the next question was uh, tell me some incidents when your friends have helped you so i told uh, something about the balaji power incident uh, that he have always uh, helped me in uh, all the situations then uh, mahesh uh, then other friends i took the names of my friends that really uh, made me a genuine person then uh, some other friends who have uh, helped me in my studies uh, helped me in my co curricular curricular activities also so that was uh, that that is uh, one of the parts of the personal interview that when you are giving the experience or sharing the reality please come up with the name that will uh, reflect the social uh, adaptability and the quality of being socially aware so uh, that was a really plus point then uh, the, there were two hobbies that i have i had mentioned in the personal information questionnaire that is the piq form so, so the first uh, hobby of mine was guitar playing so he didn't ask me about the guitar playing then the second question was that uh, uh, you have said that the reading of books is your hobby then uh, tell me how you how many books you have read uh, in last two or three months and which is the best book that uh, you have read so i uh, i started from the first that uh, my mother is a primary teacher then uh, she uh, she has always provided me with the books uh, right from the childhood so i was really interested in uh, reading the books up so uh, in early age sir, uh, 
uh, they were all in the comic form so that was very interesting for me but in my 10th 11th and 12th i didn't read any book uh, then after that sir when i prepared for the ssb interview i came to know that the ssbs are having some qualities uh, sorry uh, ssbs are requiring uh, some ideas that will get uh, that will i get when i read the books so i started reading the da vinci code but i told him that uh, sir da vinci code's language was really tough so i watched the movie of the da vinci code then in my final year sir i have read the book of the alchemist so he asked me that uh, tell me in 30 seconds uh, tell me the story of the alchemist book so i uh, started with the sentence that the boy's name was santiago and his story uh, that he was pursuing his dream then he stopped me and asked me to give the essence of the alchemist book in only one line so i i hesitated for i thought for a moment and then i came up with the answer that uh, the alchemist is a book which tells us about the story of the life sir uh, that everybody should pursue his or her dreams irrespective or regardless of the ambitions of the uh, relatives or parents also that if a person is having a dream he should must go and achieve the dream and at the end of the life sir we will find the treasure which is really meaningful for all of us uh, so he said to me that uh, what are the problems that you have faced uh, from your relatives uh, then i said that sir uh, some of my relatives want me to be an ias officer or upsc cracking person uh, then i uh, counter acted uh, against them as that uh, Sir, I am not interested in UPSC or civil services examination as the political pressure is really building up on the administration. So it is better to have the military as my first preference of the services. So he asked me the comparison between the administration and the uh, and the defense forces. Uh, so I said to him that the administration is always under the burden of the politicians. Sir. So I think that the military is always a beneficial option for me, which will not provide me the pressure which is undue due to the political reasons. Sir. So he was also uh, satisfied with the question. Then he asked me about the competition of Tiffin, uh, that the Tiffin competition is a generally onion harvester making competition that happens in the Maharashtra or all over the India and I was with one of the colleges that I, I am also the person who have, uh, who have been the part of the team of the Tiffin. Uh, so I gave him the ideas of onion harvesting and said to him that the onion bulb goes about 2 cm under the ground. So we have to make a blade which is going 5 cm under the ground in order to achieve the onions in their uh, initial stages so after that uh, after the answer the second interviewing officer immediately counter questioned me that how do you explain that only two centimeter is the depth of the onions going under the ground so i said to him that sir the onion bulb is only half uh, under the ground and half above the surface sir so he was satisfied with the answer and left the left the question and the again the next question was asked to me the next question was what was my choice of the services uh, so uh, previously i had uh, I didn't know the what was the choice I uh, filled in the online application filling. Or I was only knowing that uh, that the pilot other than MR is my first preference. The second preference is pilot MR, and the third and fourth preferences I didn't know. I didn't remember them. So I said to him that sir, the first two preferences are do, these two. The last two preferences I don't know, sir. I don't uh, exactly remember, but. Uh, if you let me guess that uh, the, these two preferences can be air traffic controller or an observer sir. So the next question he asked me was what is the role of Navy in the Indian Ocean? So the answer uh, that I provided was uh, the Indian Navy is the supreme uh, is the supreme defensial force uh, that comes under the president and guards and uh, safeguards the coastal regions of the Indian Ocean sir. The threat to the Indian Ocean are from two countries which are not so friendly to us. The first one is China and the second one is Pakistan. Considering the naval superpower, the China is dominating the Indian Ocean, sir. Pakistan doesn't stand a chance in the Indian Ocean. The Indians, being the natives of the Indian Ocean, need to protect their seas by having a blue water navy. So China is at least having 10 naval uh, aircraft carriers in a uh, next coming decade. But Indians should at least have three aircraft carriers. So the next question was uh, from him was, why do you want to be the fighter pilot in the Indian Navy? So I came up with the answer that the, sir, the fighters in the Indian Navy are much tougher than the Indian Air Force. So I compared the Indian Air Force with the Indian Navy, the, saying that the Indian Naval fighters are much more capable than the Indian Air Force pilots. Sir. Uh, then the next question was, uh, the India, the role of USA in the Indian Ocean. So I said that the sir, uh, USA in the Indian Ocean, they have been really friendly with the Indian Ocean and the Indian Navy also. There was also the operation which the Indian Navy conducted to safeguard the 
to safeguard and uh, give support to the US's operation in the state of Malacca. So there are many questions which are currently uh, being asked in the personal interview about the coastal regions of the India also and the Gulf countries also. That is the country uh, and the other countries in the ASEAN region also. So be prepared with that also. The CPEC and the OBOR, these were the other, other general knowledge questions which were asked to me. So, so, so the CPEC is China-Pakistan Economic Corridor and the next one is One Belt on and One Road Initiative. So I answered about the CPEC and the OBOR and the next question was the string of pearls, uh, the China's ambitious project of uh, strings of pearls. So I didn't know the answer so I smiled to him, uh, to the interviewing officer and uh, told, uh, told him that sir I don't know what is the strings of pearls but I will definitely come to know it when I get out of the personal interviews. Then after that the next question was about the NCC. Uh, so I am in, currently in the final year and I am still pursuing the C certificate of my NCC Army Bank. So he asked me about the question that how the NCC has trained you to join the armed forces in Indian uh, subcontinent. So I told him the experiences uh, that uh, when uh, we were in NCC, sir, the camps were really good. Marching was really uh, enthusiastic for all of us. There have been many situations when we were all punished when a single person committed the mistake. So I uh, told him that the lesson firstly I learnt from the Indian uh, NCC uh, was that, sir, when a single person commits the mistake, the whole troop has to suffer the price for that. And the second, uh, and the second lesson I learned from the NCC was that uh, when you are playing as a team leader or a team member in any sports event, you have to assist your teammates or you have to cooperate with them really well because that is when the re uh, a really good team makes a step which is closer to the success. That is, there are no spaces for the individual gladiators. Either the whole team wins or the whole team loses. Then the next, next question to me was on the Jammu Kashmir issue. That was the really burning issue at that time. So he asked me what is your stand on the abrogation of the Article 375. So I said to him that uh, it, will, it will be helpful to the people of the Jammu and Kashmir Valley also, to the people of the Ladakh also and the Jawans who are serving in that region also. So, uh, the grassroots level development of the, all the areas in the Jammu and Kashmir is the reason, is the key to have a successful implementation of the administration in the Jammu and Kashmir. Sir. So he nextly asked uh, me the question which, is, which was really complicated. In four to five sentences he summoned up the, uh, summoned up the question. The question was like, uh, Varad, if the Pakistan occupied Kashmir, is in the territory of Pakistan. Then if the Pakistan is leasing that territory to China to develop the CPEC, that is China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, and after 50 to 60 years, if the China is going to grant the permission to India to have the authority of the Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, what is your stand on that? So I said to him that, sir, instead of leasing some, uh, somebody else or a third party, the Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, uh, we should go there, we should fight for the territory, we should nail the Pakistanis down, get the Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, develop that area and bring the heavenliness to the Pakistan-occupied Kashmir also, sir. So, he again counter questioned me, but I uh, answered th uh, them all and he was satisfied with the answer. Then the next question, he asked me about the education that I completed from the Jawa Navodaya Vidyalaya. It was really a detailed question apart from my uh, rapid-fire round. Uh, then after that, he asked me why did I, uh, as I was a really hardcore aspirant for the MBBS sector, that I wanted to be a doctor when I was in 12th, but I failed to do so. But uh, my number was my uh, number was selected in the Bachelor of Dental Sciences. So he asked me the question that uh, why I didn't select the BDS sector, why I chose the BTEC Agriculture Engineering. So I said to him that sir, I wanted to do the MBBS, which is a really good study that is studies as uh, studies the whole human body. So I said to him, I didn't want it to be a specific person in the Bachelor of Dental Sciences, sir. I didn't want it to check the teeth of the all the person or rest of my life. So I choose to be the agriculture engineering. Uh, then uh, he wanted me to compare uh, compare the BSc, BSc Agri with the BTEC Agri. So I told him the differences between the BSc Agri and the BTEC Agri. Then the next question was, uh, how uh, th there were two questions on my technical uh, background. The first question was, uh, is there any difference between the controlled environment agriculture and the organic farming? So I told him the difference that the con controlled environment agriculture is uh, greenhouse farming and the second one is organic farming, which is totally uh, considering the not using the or uh, inorganic fertilizers in that. The Sikkim is the state uh, who have imp implemented that. And this, uh, Second question was uh, again on how to recycle the soil. 
that is a recycling method of uh, methods of the soil so i told to him that the, there are two methods sir the first one is organic and the second one is inorganic method in organic method sir we just put the organic material into the soil and the soil will be enriched in due course of time due to the decomposition of the material and the second one was the uh, inorganic method so i said to him that there are again two methods of recycling the soil that is the use of gypsum and the second one is the use of acidic materials to maintain the neutral nature of the soil so he was satisfied with the, uh, with the answer and the next question that he asked to me was what is the uh, detailed information of your parents occupation so i told to him that the primary teacher uh, my both the both the parents of mine are primary teachers then uh, the job profile of them then he asked me some question about my brother how do i help me him in his studies also then the last question was that uh, what was my backup plan that uh, when i get selected for the pilot other than mr then uh, will i be uh, sufficed to get any other opportunity at the ground level so i told to him that sir there are other interviews also for me to be scheduled that is the first one is of the afcat entry the second one is uh, will be of the cds entry and the third one is of the territorial army also sir uh, then he told to me that uh, what if you are selected in the inet uh, uh, interview and uh, you are forced to have something uh, other than the pilot other than mr then i said to him that the i will accept the uh, offer of the atc or observer then i continue to give other exams to be the pilot in the indian navy or indian air force if the medicals permit me to do so and the pavt also so and the last question was about the backup plan other than the defense forces so i told to him that sir i am also preparing for the mpsc agricultural services that is my backup plan i, I am actually not preparing for it but my academic academic also is strong enough to hold me in the competition and the uh, gs part will be studied under under the cds exam also sir so i am having the backup plan of the agricultural examinations which will start uh, from the february of the 2020 so that was the last question for me so he said to me thank you varad uh, Uh, do you have since we have asked you so many questions do you have any question for us so i i just asked me a simplest question uh, the simplest uh, question i can that was sir are you satisfied with your job sir so he smiled at me and told to me that i am really satisfied with my job it is an honor for me to see, uh, sit here and select the candidates like you and other others like you uh, you have been a really good candidate thanks for uh, having the interview so i stopped him and again asked him sir that uh, i i also want to be an interviewing officer sir uh, can you please tell me how to be an interviewing officer in the indian navy or the ssb so he told to me first you join in the indian uh, join the indian navy then i'll tell you how to be the interviewing officer so that was the last sentence i told to him then he asked me to uh, leave the interviewing officers hall then i get up uh, then the shake the hand with him uh, with a firm confidence on my face then i gave him a smile and went out the out of the interviewing hall so it's my request to all of you to be prepared very well for the personal interview there are questions which will be uh, very mundane uh, very preparable so be prepared for the interview interview because uh, the interviewing officers are much more familiar with the situation like this uh, the confidence you show to them the answering pattern of yours then the communication skill that you have then the reading habits then the paper new, uh, paper reading also and the general general studies and the general awareness also in you that have been in, incorporated uh, trust me guys the interviewing officers are really good if you prepare for the questions they will definitely grant you the marks thank you thank you very much